Hello everyone, my name is Lady Ivan Quinn. I'm learning in 6th grade at Newton Grammar School. So, do you know about peer pressure? In fact, it isn't very uncommon. According to Choosing Therapy, 85% of American high school students have experienced peer pressure. So, what is peer pressure? Peer pressure is the influence of peers to conform about their behaviors, attitudes, or expectations. It's crucial in today's life because it shapes people's thinking about themselves. So, is peer pressure good or is it bad? Today, I will answer that question. First of all, let's talk about the advantages of peer pressure. One advantage of peer pressure is that it helps motivate people to do better. Peer pressure makes you think that you aren't enough. So, this makes you feel uncomfortable and it will motivate you to do better so that you can reach your goals. Peer pressure can also come from the inspiration from other people's achievements to achieve your own goals. Another advantage of peer pressure is that it helps you try new things. So let's say that you, know some, you don't know something that other people know. This creates peer pressure and pressures you to learn that thing that you don't know so you don't feel like the odd one out. This can be very useful because you can know more skills. Also, peer pressure can introduce to you new things that you might not even have considered before. But, of course, peer pressure also has its disadvantages, so let's talk about them. One disadvantage of peer pressure is that it makes you feel neglected. In fact, a lot of children feel this way. They feel unwanted because everyone is always comparing them to someone else better than them. This, this can cause a lot of mental health issues, co most commonly depression. According to mentally healthy schools, the negative impacts of peer pressure include low self-confidence, self-worth, and isolation from friends and family. Another, another disadvantage of peer pressure is that it gets you to do the wrong things. So let's say that all your friends smoke and you don't smoke. This creates peer pressure and it pressures you to try smoking because all of your friends do it. This can lead to a worse society because everyone is doing the wrong thing at a young age. In fact, according to Choosing Therapy, 75% of American teens have tried alcohol because of their peers. Now, let's move on to my conclusion. So, peer pressure is both good and bad. It is good when we use it in the right way, and this can make children more successful. And it is bad when we use it in the wrong way because it can lead to, to a lot of problems like self-harm or suicide. I think that the adults don't have enough awareness about the negative peer pressure and we should educate everyone to create good peer pressure. So that is the end of my speech and thank you for listening. Bye!